Have you ever visited a location with breathtaking scenery and lovely people? Wow. Have you ever experienced the delectable and distinct flavor of food? <clears throat> Are you seeking a wonderful attraction to visit? Greetings from Cebu! Cebu City is known as the Queen City of the South. It was given this name because when you discover the wonders of the city, it has all the traits of a royal height. Wow. Cebu City is noted for its gorgeous and unique tourist attractions, as well as historical sites. This is Philippines' second largest metropolitan area. Wow. Argao, Carcar, Danao, Lapu-Lapu, and Mandawe are all parts of Metro Cebu. Cebu is an ideal tourist location. White sand beaches, crystal clear waters, and marine life abound in Cebu. There are numerous forest reserves, slopes, and hills that are ideal for forest trekkers. Cebu is also rich in historical sites that can satisfy the aspiration of culture buffs. Trying Cebu's specialties will round out a memorable trip. Cebu offers several beautiful spots to visit. And that is Cebu City! Oh no! I know it may sound scary, but what if I told you that parts of Cebu are projected to be submerged in water in 2050 or 30 years from now? Huh? What? If the prospect of climate change wasn't bad enough, new data from Climate Central paints a bleak picture of the world's population future. And one of the most dramatic effects of climate change is sea level rise. The world's attention has been drawn to the high estimated rates of future sea level rise. According to a study conducted by Climate Central, around 150 million people presently reside in places that are expected to be flooded by 2050, with Southeast Asia and the Philippines accounting for. But what exactly is causing the sea level to rise? Well, sea levels are rising as a result of global warming. Yes, guys, you heard it right. Global warming. To begin with, glaciers and ice sheets around the planet are melting, releasing water into the ocean. In case you aren't aware, guys, ice or glaciers around the world function as a barrier between the earth and our oceans. These dazzly white spots reflect heat away from the planet, keeping it colder. Melting glaciers contribute to rising sea levels, which increases coastal erosion and storm surge when the air and ocean temperatures warm, resulting in more frequent and stronger coastal storms, such as hurricanes, and typhoons. Oh no. By the end of the century, 100 to 200 million people throughout the world could be at risk for coastal flooding if we continue to generate heat-trapping gases at our current rate. So, how will this affect us humans? By 2050, 800 million people will live in cities where sea levels are expected to increase by more than a meter. Many coastal areas around the world are already threatened to rising sea levels and coastal flooding, which can drown neighborhoods, endanger people's lives, and causing economic disaster. Not only humans are affected by the sea level rise, but also animals most especially marine life as the ocean absorbs a majority of the surplus heat from the greenhouse gas emission this means the ocean temperature is also rising and so marine animals and habitats 
are also affected by rising ocean temperatures. Yes, that's right. It can cause coral bleaching and the loss of reproductive habitats for marine fish and mammals are both caused by rising temperatures. So sad. This is going to be tough guys, but did you know in our own little ways, we can also help mitigate the sea level rise bought by global warming by reducing our footprint. Making changes in the way we consume energy in our everyday life will have an impact on limiting the amount of carbon release into the atmosphere. Reducing our carbon footprint is very important because it mitigates the effect of global climate change, improves public health, boosts the global economy, and maintains biodiversity. So when we cut carbon emissions, we ensure cleaner air, water, and food for our generations and generations yet to come. Reducing energy use. Reducing energy use is good for your wallet and the environment as well. Turn off your lights and appliances when not in use and replace them with more energy efficient options. Unplug your chargers and appliances when possible because many use energy even when turned off, right? Leaving the car at home. Vehicles are a leading source of carbon dioxide production. Reduce the number of cars on the road by carpooling, walking, biking, or using mass transit. And when driving, turn your car off when idling for more than 30 seconds. This will conserve fuel, save money, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Planting and growing more trees and saving trees. In addition to the carbon dioxide trees capture, they also help the soil capture and store carbon. Despite not doing as an incredible job as the ocean do, absorbing around 90% of all carbon emissions and suffering the impact of ocean acidification, trees are important to help stop climate change. Pushing for a climate action plan. Sadly guys, many cities around the Philippines have no plans to address climate change, which is the primary cause of sea level rise. Our government works for us. We need to let public officials know that this is an issue that needs attention. Get involved. Contact your local elected officials and encourage them to take actions now. If this isn't enough to convince you guys, I must let you know that not just Cebu, but other areas in the Philippines. In fact, guys, other countries will also be affected too. That is according to active sustainability. And if we do not lower our greenhouse gas emissions, sea levels will continue to rise in the future, maybe by one meter by the end of the century. For the 250 million people who live near the water, such transformation offers significant challenges. Our earth and the ecosystem are vital to our survival because they provide us with food and water. Our survival is entirely dependent on this planet, and it is our job to protect it. You may think that sea level rise won't affect you since you don't live in lowland areas, but like what happened during the pandemic and the war between Ukraine and Russia, remember that the world is small. Everything that happens in one place will affect each and everyone, far or near. So you may think that the little things you do, such as throwing trash everywhere or driving a car even when your destination is near, won't affect the world, but it will. Though it may be slow, but it will. So I am ending this vlog with a reminder that we only have one Earth. So we must go full blown in caring for it. So that's it. That's all for today, guys. I hope you learned something today. Thanks 
for watching, guys! And don't forget to like and follow my Facebook page. It's Mega Franco TV! Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> See you on our next video! Bye! <laughs>